And here we are at the Virgin Mobile Live House at South by Southwest, presented by LG. And we are so honored to have come choose here. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> Trying not to beer. geek out. Yay. Well, this is your first South by Southwest. It's very exciting. Right? How many gigs do you uh, have slated? In total, I had nine and one panel. So I have seven left. Oh my gosh. And how many of those are live? Mm, well, <clears throat> Three officially with, with my drummer, mm -hmm. um, but you know, I, I still do it live myself, but it's just without the drums. But, right. So tonight I'll do a DJ set, which is kind of nice to take a break and play people's music that I really enjoy. You know? Yay! So, yeah. Some of my own music. Good. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. Well, and just because of the conversation we were having before this, um, your thoughts on female DJs that resort to wearing pieces of cloth? Uh, I mean, if it's hot out, I guess whatever works. Want it if you got it? Yeah, it, it kind of, yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, tell me about your panel earlier today. Um, it was a, a keyboard and synthesizer clinic. Uh, awesome. It was, uh, you know, it was an okay turnout. Was, Everybody uh, that goes to Moog Fest showed yeah, yeah, yeah. up. <laughs> no, actually, you know, it turned out more or less. It was. Uh, a lot of people came that were completely unaware of electronic music production. So, actually, you know, I was, at first it was, you know, I thought it was going to be about synthesizers. And, you know, mm -hmm. once we got into it, I was like, oh, these people don't understand the software or anything like that. So, I was, you know, I was. You know, I'm a fan of Fruity Loops. You know? That's yeah. all I can say. <laughs> the trial version. Yeah, the trial version. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm sure that they were, they were coming there to learn from you. So, yeah. yeah. That was good. Yay. Right on. Um, I wanted to talk to you about Ghostly International because that's one of my absolute favorite labels. So how did you get to be part of their family? Um, well, it's a funny story. There's, they have like kind of a, I guess you'd call it maybe, if you think of baseball, it's like their farming label. Okay. So it's this label, Mood Gadget, and uh, the guy that runs that does a &R for Ghostly. Mm -hmm. And he wrote to me and, you know, he was interested in my music, but we were like, well, let's wait, you know. And then he just called me up one Friday night and was like, can you come into the city and tomorrow on Saturday and meet with Pam and Jeff from Ghostly? And, you know, they really like your music and they, you know, they want to talk to you. And then, you know, three months later, there was a contract was signed. And, Brilliant. And Galactic yeah. sold out all the vinyl copies? Yeah. That's there was be good actually, feeling. there was one on the, eBay that was ninety nine dollars. When I sent it to Jeff Owens, the label my pitch and he's like, "Well, you beat everyone." <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I saw someone post on Instagram a couple days ago that they uh, they found a copy of it so in some random shop. Yeah. But yeah, the only copy of the my own record I have is uh, like a the one we used on tour, so it's all smashed. Oh my yeah. gosh, so it's not even like a dub plate. Uh, yeah. But they're gonna repress it, and uh, I redid the artwork so. Uh, you know, it's, the artwork is very orange, mm -hmm. and you know, with like lots of gray type and stuff. So everything's inverted this time, so it looks. You know, uh, it looks cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, do you have any? Uh, I'm just realizing how irritating this question is. Do you have any remixes coming up? I don't know why um, I'm asking, but I have to because you're talking country. <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I just did one for a band that Trent Moeller uh, produced. Uh, they're called Darkness Falls. The song is Timeline. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I did the remix, and that just, I think it came out two weeks ago. Okay. So, yeah, that one is sort of new. And um, I'm do, I did one for the Twilight Sad. There was a Scottish band. So, I but that's, well, yeah. that's, that's back, we're back and forth going with that one right now. So. That's, that's interesting. I'm not sure when that'll come out. Yeah, remixing their kind of music. Yeah, it was very, yeah, it was very well, strange. Well, that's, that's first, why they I was, came to you, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. You know, I, I, sometimes I'm like, I listen to this, you know, I pick a remix and I'm, I listen to the song for a minute and I'm like, oh yeah, I love it, it's great. And then I'll like get into actually remixing and I'll be like, whoa, why did I pick this one? You know? but, You're the stems, yeah. do with it what you will. But okay. it turned out all right. Awesome. Well, um, if people want to keep track of you online, aside from Instagram, which everyone is on apparently, except for me. I love, I, I love Instagram. I, it's cool. I love it. I love it. Okay, all the DJs we know that come in here yeah. are like tagging each other. Yeah, yeah, Instead of yeah. tweeting at each other now, they'll just yeah, tag each no, other on Instagram. Whoa, I need to set up an account. But <laughs> you've got a Twitter, Facebook? Yes, yeah. Comtrues. Just Comtrues on Twitter and uh, Facebook Comtrues and Comtrues.com. There we go, straight out of Syracuse. Yeah, Syracuse. Galactic Mail out now on Ghostly International. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks we cannot wait me. for you to just. <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, 
cheesiest DJ things are coming into my head right now. I cannot wait for you to spin the version of Bullet Fast. I'm glad to.